Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're talking about the four last things. Death, judgment, heaven, and hell. Last episode, we talked about whether we'd be ourselves in heaven. This time, if we were in hell, would we still be ourselves? In a certain sense, it seems like it would be wrong for us to no longer be ourselves in hell. After all, that would mean that somebody else is suffering because of choices that you made, and that's not fair. Part of this question was answered last time, that as long as the soul, and which body is proper to it, are the same in the afterlife as they were here on earth, you are still you. Strictly speaking, anything else about yourself that you might lose would only matter because it would be unpleasant, or you'd feel like you were being robbed, and that's very much in the spirit of what it means to be in hell. Would we lose our memories? Our pleasant memories, almost definitely. I think that we would probably still have some memories, the memories that would make us feel guilty, but I'm not in a position to prove that. It's possible that we might lose those memories, too. A good case can be made either way. Still, it seems likely, based on certain verses in the Bible which describe the attitudes of the damned, that they have reasons to repent and feel remorse for their sins, and they couldn't do that if they didn't remember them. Now, desires, fears, and tastes, there are good reasons to think that our desires and fears would continue to exist in hell, unfulfilled and unfulfillable, since that would be the outcome where the least good would exist. Tastes, on the other hand, seem to imply that some things make those in hell feel better, so I suspect that in that sense, aesthetic preferences wouldn't exist in hell. In fact, it could be argued that aesthetic appreciation is a good thing, and therefore it can't exist in hell. And lastly, talents. Souls in hell are quite untalented, since talents are good. Those in hell would therefore lose them. So in the end, going to hell doesn't prevent you from being yourself, but it does rob you of everything that makes being yourself worthwhile. Next time, do the saints in heaven really have possessions? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.